Hello, you guys, all my Minnesota Vikings fans out there, Skull Vikings, baby. We are just moments away, not moments away, two days away to our first preseason action. The NFL preseason starts tomorrow with a slew of games, a bunch of games tomorrow and a couple games on Friday. We play Friday for some Friday Night Football action. I think we're away. I think we're at the, I think we're at the uh, Mercedes-Benz Superdome. So we're in New Orleans for this game. And, and I'm excited to see it. I can't wait to see all our quarterbacks. Uh, honestly, who's, who's going to get the start? Maybe they might have. But I don't think for the first game, I don't think they're going to have Kirk Cousins still. So if it's Jake Browning, I want to see how Jake Browning's going to do. I want to see how he can step up to the test. This is the guy I was really hopeful. I'm like, we better sign Jake Browning. If not, maybe like a Drew Lock or something. But we didn't, we didn't sign any of those. We signed him as an undrafted free agent. Our undrafted, you know, undrafted person in the market to under the free agent, I guess, whatever. So we signed him. And I've been watching some of the, whatever, the camp, or whatever, could be pictures of it. I don't know. Videos on Instagram. And I'm excited. So we'll see what happens for his start tomorrow. But, um, and let's see who's going to be. Manning and Slaughter gonna throw some, throw some throws. I don't know. We'll find out. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good battle. I can't wait to see the Saints and the Vikings. I know usually preseason games are not high score. They don't really hit hard as much. They kind of take it easy, like it's like a Pro Bowl game. But I, I, I want to see how all our players. I don't know who's gonna. If, if we're gonna see Thielen get some catches and Diggs get some catches and this on the third get some catches. So we'll see. We'll, we'll honestly see. You know, but I feel like we're going to win this game. We're going to come out. I think we're really well, well prepared and just really well prepared for this game. And I don't know what else final score is going to be. The highest thing is going to go maybe 20, but it's that's going to be like in the 10s. Highest 20. You won't see like 30 or 40s unless it's like a blowout for a preseason game. Like our team just really blows in preseason that they're going to blow us out. <clears throat> but usually preseason game not the high scoring. It's really not. It's like... It's like watching the Canadian football game where it's like not so high scoring, you know. But anyways, I'm just excited to see football back finally, you know. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. How do you think we're going to do? And who, who do you think is going to be the shining star preseason? What quarterback thinks going to shine? Is going to be that Manning guy or what's his name? Merriman, Manning or whatever. Or is it going to be Sloter? Or I think it's going to be Jake Browning? Or maybe. Who's, who's going to back up? Let's just put it this way. Who's in the backup Cousins? Because no one's going to take Cousins' spot. Unless Cousins blows real bland. bad for us. Like, <clears throat> who, 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 no, he didn't blow bad. But I think the state Brady Rodgers got injured. So it was like Case Keenum took in, right, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, but if you have a quarterback that blows real bad, and then maybe you see Jake Browning. But, or that Manning guy or that Slaughter guy. But I think... I think, honestly, Jake Browning might be the best. In my eyes, in my eyes, I think Jake, sorry about all the cars. In my eyes, I think Jake Browning is going to be the um, backup for Cousins. Let me know what you guys think. Who's going to be the backup for Cousins? Leave it down in the comment section down below. I thank y'all for watching. Let's just enjoy the games. You know, preseason's here. I know it's preseason. People are like, I'm not going to watch. I don't really care. But it's good if you want to see a game because the tickets are dirt cheap. They're not dirt cheap, but they're cheap. They're cheaper than going to see a regular season game. Just throwing that out there. You guys ever seen a regular season game? You ever seen a regular season game? They are not. They are not cheap. So a lot of cars, they are not cheap. I'm still hoping to go to the freaking Vikings. Charger game Sunday night in Los Angeles because I live in Los Angeles, but the tickets are so damn, so damn high because the stadium is small. It's 27,000 seat stadium in the first place, and it's a Sunday night game. So, and people are saying the Chargers aren't going to have this outstanding season this year. So, uh, so I want to see, and if it is true, then, but I, I don't know. We'll see how Rivers does, we'll see how the whole team does, but right now, I'm just worried about my Vikings, no other team. You know, I can care less about the Bears, this, and the third, but I just want to see what we're going to do. I want to see our, 
I'm, I think I'm kind of looking forward to the preseason just because I want to see how our quarterbacks are going to do, our backups. I want to see how Jake Browning is going to do. You, know, you probably won't highly see Jake Browning get a snap in the regular season unless Kirk kind of gets hurt or some issue with Cousins. But that's, like, highly unlikely. So if you see Jake Browning get a snap in the regular season, or maybe he might do, like, a, just a quick snap to do a quarterback sneak in the end zone or something. But we probably won't see that. So, I don't know. Let me know what you all think. And what do you think about this season? How are you going to do? Are you excited for more for the preseason or the regular season? Are you excited for both? Are you excited to see how our back quarterbacks are going to do? Because I'm excited to see, honestly, how Jake Browning is going to do. I really want to do, see how Jake Browning is going to do. And all the other signees we signed in the draft. So, a lot of great stuff. And we sent a long snapper, so we'll see how that long snapper does, and let's see how all our and our other tight end does, you know, that we signed. That supposedly he's going to take take uh, cover to a spot. I don't think so. He's going to be cover going to mentor him. He's going to shadow Kyle Rudolph for like a season, or maybe he might come in for a play or two. Who knows in the regular season? But if I remember the guy's name. I don't. You know, I've been very busy with stuff, so I haven't really, really kept up with stuff. But, uh, yeah, so. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video, leave me a comment more. Skull Vikes. Let's get this dub on Friday. I think we are going to see how Jake Bryan's going to do. Who, and leave it down in the comment section down below. Who's going to be the back of the cousins? Sloter, Browning, or that Manning guy, or Merriman, Manningan? I'm botching his name. Who do you think it's going to be? Let me know. And who do you think it's going to be the star or the rising star of our team in free season? Let me know as well. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.